Mini split, dirty, gross. One of the things we're gonna talk about in this video is something that I don't see talked about enough, and that is the fact that some mini splits can get quite dirty. I've seen fan wheels almost have some sort of microbial growth on them, and we're gonna talk in this video about some of your options, some of the ways to maybe inhibit that, and also fix that problem. But first, let's talk about why it's happening. Some of the things that I've seen going on in some mini splits, I've never seen going on in conventional furnaces or heat pump systems, and I think Think there's a couple reasons for that one of the reasons being the filtration on these mini splits a lot of them have these removable washable filters there's really not much to them they don't have the pleated action that a lot of filters have out there a lot of media filters even the one inch ones that we see on a lot of return grills are going to filter air better than these filters that we see on the mini splits now some of the filters on the mini splits you know some are better than others some of them come with carbon filters on there and all these different things but the bottom line is there ain't but so much you can do with this little tiny filter that just has this surface area that air's passing through i think they do pretty good for what they are but they're just not gonna be able to do what we see with some of these four or five inch thick media filters or electronic filters and electrostatic filters, things like that that we can have installed on conventional heating and air systems, you just simply don't have that option with a mini split. I think that's part of this, but I also think it should be mentioned that mini splits themselves, especially the wall hung ones, it's just simply due to the design of them. The way they're built, you've got the coil sometimes mounted above the fan wheel. The fan wheel is probably exposed to more moisture and more particulates in the air than your average conventional heating and air system that has all this extra filtration and indoor air quality products. And so because of that, we've seen some crazy fan wheels get all kinds of buildup on them. Some of them can get all this stuff caked on them. I've seen some have the wheel itself, but also on the wall of the housing where the fan wheel moves the air. You, we've seen buildup and black spots and all these different types of things going on in there. So what do we do about all this, right? We, we know there's an issue. What do we do about it? The first thing is that filter that we already talked about, make sure that you're cleaning it religiously. It's not like that air filter in your conventional system that you're replacing it probably not as often as you should on these mini splits i think that you should be very religious about getting in there and cleaning that washable filter on the unit as often as possible i've seen some get damaged and they're not filtering the air as well as they used to you can get replacements for them you may have to go through a contractor to get it but it may be worth it. Another thing you can have done is they make LED UV lights that you can have installed in a mini split. And I'm gonna put a link to one down in the description of this video that you can get. Now I've heard different things on these because the light does not stay in the unit. I don't think they're quite as strong or as effective, if you will, as some of the other lights that we see on the market that are installed in conventional heating and air systems. And that might be a good thing, right? You know, if you're being exposed to the light, but I've actually seen them work. We've had them installed in ductless systems and seem to do some good. Another thing you can have done and you may wanna have done before you even install the UV light, and that is simply having the system cleaned, getting a professional in there. There are different ways of doing it. They make these kits that have a bag that can catch the solution when they're cleaning the system, or you can simply have them take it apart, remove the components and take them outside and clean them up really good. Just having them simply clean would make a world of difference, especially if they've gotten as bad as some of the ones that we've shown in this video already and then finally another solution is daikin's room air purifier they make a machine that can filter the air it helps fight some of the odors and particulates that are in the air i'll put a link in the description of this video where you can actually get a discount on that machine they're super effective they're super quiet in fact i've got one in this room that you can't hear and i can't hear either and we've done other videos on that machine talking about how awesome it is please note that daikin has sponsored some of our content on our youtube channel and the ftc requires that i say so let me know your thoughts leave me a comment down below if you are experiencing any issues with your mini split 
It's something that is more of a concern. We're seeing more mini splits installed than ever before. And a lot of homeowners are noticing some of these challenges that they've never seen with their conventional systems. Maybe part of it is you never saw those issues in your system. Your conventional system, if it's in your attic or crawl space, maybe you even had those issues and you probably didn't have it on the front of your mind like you would a mini split because it's right there. You can see the issues that you're having. So I wouldn't ignore them. You're breathing a lot of this stuff in some cases, and I would be hyperactive about taking care of it, keeping stuff clean, and keeping that air clean that your family's breathing. If you like this video, I think you'll like this one even more. It's where I talk about some of the secrets about heat pumps that a lot of folks are not talking about. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.